CV103 Building Systems Design, Unit 2, The Meaning of Symbols, Module 3, Drawing Symbols. Welcome to the third module of this course. So for this lesson, we will be discussing and familiarizing the different drawing symbols present in a drawing plan, uh, their types uh, or groups, and their uses. So by the end of this module, you should be able to define the use of symbols and familiarize the different kinds of symbols present in the drawing plan. In preparation of working drawings um, for building construction industry, architects and engineers have devised systems of abbreviations, symbols, and keynotes. That is to first simplify the work of those uh, preparing the drawings and also keep the size and bulk of construction documents to an acceptable comprehensible minimum. So, um, since uh, drawing plans are uh, represented by symbols, so naging madali na yung paggawa ng drawing plans kasi um, every aspect of the plans like the door, the floor plan, the um, electrical layouts, the plumbing system is all represented by symbols. So, um, madali na yung paggawa ng uh, floor plan and maliit na yung uh, size niya compared kung, isus, kung for example, uh, sulat lang siya lahat. So, parang kumbaga parang a libro and compared mo dun sa um, blueprint ng isang drawing. So, um, drawings, uh, drawing simple building components without the use of symbols would indeed be a tiresome work. Uh, tiresome uh, work yung sabi ko. So, if um, symbols or abbreviations or keynotes were not devised, so, siguro yung mga drawing plans natin ngayon is lahat siya um, in a descriptive na um, uh, render, re rendering. No? So, parang nakasulat lahat. So, uh, ano mukha ng how many rooms, how many ganito. So, yun yung uh, importance ng symbols. This is why uh, visualizing and uh, reading construction drawings, therefore, necessitates a knowledge of symbols and abbreviations. So, this is used in the construction industry and of their um, uh, proper use in representing materials and other components and their location. So, symbols may vary slightly from one loca locale to another. So, um, symbols does not only represent a part of the building but also what material are used on that uh, uh, part or component of isang building. So, yun din yung... Um, Maraming uh, types and uh, uses yung symbols. This computer generated section of a residential structure um, showing different elements within in, uh, encircled portions. So, uh, these are all symbols. So, um, doors are drawn in symbols. So, yung, uh, yung uh, uh, window yung column and yung uh, footing. So, in a um, floor plan or uh, elevation, hindi mo makita yung detail ng footing. So, it is represented by a rectangular uh, shape and then there is a separate plan or separate detail. So, yung sabi ko kanina, yung ibang plans, mayroong mga detail plan showing yung uh, uh, structure ng uh, footing for example. So, ilan ba yung magagamit na deformed bars? So, ilan yung spacing and yung thickness? So, uh, dito na, uh, doon nakikita yung uh, pinaka-detail na nung drawing. But, um, on a uh, elevation pa, so, mga symbol pa nakikita mo. So, uh, yung, ito yung uh, footing. So, rectangular pa. So, yung door, yung stair. So, these are uh, major, uh, majority made up of lines and symbols. Um, typical and window symbols shown in both plans. So, it may appear on a, uh, on a blueprint and pictorial form. So, um, reading uh, working drawings necessitates the ability to read and understand and visualize the various types of symbols. So, para malaman nyo or ma-understand ma ma natin kung ano yung mga iba-ibang symbols. So, kailangan familiar din natin yung mga symbols. So, meron mga standard na symbols 
to represent a component or part ng isang uh, plan. So, for example, a door. So, ito yung uh, typical na symbol ng door. So, this is the uh, wall. This is the wall. And ito yung uh, door. So, this curve here shows yung um, path ng door. So, parang yung, um, yung nagsiswing yung door on a quarter circle. So, ito yung uh, symbol ng door. And also, this is the symbol of a window. So, this is the wall. And this is the window. So, symbols are shown. Uh, these types of symbols are shown sa floor plan. So, on a um, uh, top view no, ng isang um, floor plan. So, ganito siya. So, if, the, if this is shown on the elevation or section plan, ito na makikita mo sa top view ng uh, window symbol na to. So, in a drawing plan, so yung set set ng drawing plan, one of the first symbol na may encounter natin or pag magkita is yung north point symbol. So, north point symbol is a directional symbol, meaning it is usually... Uh, an arrow labeled uh, with uh, letter N to represent the north na direction. So, this enables the reader of a construction drawing to orient it. So, malaman natin na, okay, so, ganito yung orientation. So, um, which part uh, of the house is facing the sunrise? So, in a, um, sa architectural designs, there are um, concepts where um, the facade or yung front ng house should be face facing the sunlight. That is to uh, maximize the um, uh, lighting dun sa bahay, no? So, um, the drawing must be properly oriented so that the reader can relate the information into the surrounding area. So, especially yung mga, there are specific locations na um, uh, gusto natin na may certain uh, orientation yung bahay natin, no? So, um, these are some examples of a North Point symbol. So, uh, pinaka common is uh, like this. So, it is just an arrow in North or letter N. So, merong iba-ibang uh, symbol. Depende sa um, gusto ng uh, nag-design o nag-draw ng building. So, but um, it is usually, usually drawn yung mga simple lang na mga, ano, mga drawing. So, uh, uh, for example, this symbol, so, uh, naka-indicate din yung direction ng wind and also yung, so, uh, yung Makkah. So, especially sa mga bahay ng mga Muslim, so, um, we usually orient our house partly facing so that one of the um, side of the house is, is uh, in, uh, properly facing the uh, Makkah. So, this is, the, uh, this is where we face when we are praying. So, um, uh, okay, uh, that also. Um, ito, the north. So, iba-iba yung mga uh, symbols. Depende sa na gumagawa ng plan. Okay, so architecture gra graphic symbols are usually the um, first uh, uh, symbol set na nakikita natin sa drawings. Kasi nauna yung architectural, tsaka yung mga plumbing, yung electrical, at yung mga structural na drawing. So, so, reading blueprints requires a good understanding of line line type. So, for example, on a plot plan um, or yung um, setup ng building with, uh, with reference dun sa mga road and adjacent uh, buildings, some of the information uh, shown will include um, property lines, rights of way, easements, topo uh, topographic features, and north arrow. So, it is important na meron tayong good understanding mga line types. So, um, just what we have uh, learned sa CV 150.2 natin, so may iba-iba yung mga line type. So, uh, each line type represents a um, uh, information. So, mayroong property lines, so ibang uh, line yung property lines, so right of way, easements, mga, and mga topographic features. So, uh, there, uh, these following figures will show you various um, door, window, and wall symbols used in general um, construction. These are the typical and uh, common sim door symbols shown in a plan. So this is single door opening inward. So if this, uh, parang ano, uh, this is your entrance. So, papasok ka dyan. So yung door mo is, nagsiswe siya inward. So, um, 
single door opening outside. So, usually, ito yung mga exit door, no? Um, single door interior. So, iba-iba siya. So, this is sa uh, outside. Ito naman yung sa interior. So, like sa mga bedrooms. Uh, double acting single door. So, there are doors na it, it, can, it can sway both uh, inside and outside of the room. So, uh, refrigerator door. So, nagita din yung ref. Uh, double door. Double door. Okay. In and out doors. And sliding door. So, mayroong sliding door na isa lang yung nag-slide. And also, mayroong sliding door na dalawa yung nag-slide. So, ito yung mga typical doors. So, if you are going to make a floor plan, so, uh, dito lang kayo mamili ng mga ipapakita nyo yung door. Depende kung ano yung uh, gusto nyo na door. And also, these are the typical window types. So, uh, double hang, double hang opening out. So, to so uh, parang nag-open siya pa ganyan. Uh, pivoted and vented. Um, single uh, opening in, right, right sash over left, so left sash over left. So, uh, meron pang iba-ibang uh, door types, depend, uh, windows, depende sa um, preference ninyo na nagde-design or yung uh, owner ng uh, house, for example. Also, these are the examples of different exterior and interior walls used in general construction. So, Walls are not only represented by a uh, parang line lang, no? So, line. So, we, uh, sa ngayon, uh, there are advanced construction na or marami nang um, iba-ibang way or materials in creating your wall. So, first is yung masonry wall, that is yung uh, hollow blocks lang or or um, full concrete. So, meron ding frame wall, uh, brick, uh, brick veneer. Uh, brick or concrete stud and gypsum tile. So, depende sa um, specification ng wall construction. So, ito yung gagamitin natin ng mga types of wall. Uh, wall symbols. Okay. So, material symbols. So, material symbols are used to represent materials or contents that is on floor plans, elevations, and detailed drawing. So, for example, sa floor plan, there are walls na hindi lang siya um, simple na concrete walls. So, mayroon mga walls na made of um, uh, bricks. So, there are symbols to represent that type of material. So, um, different symbols may be used to represent the same item on these drawings. So, the outline of the drawing may be filled in with the material, material symbol to show what the object is made of. So, um, other materials uh, sa mga construction pretty much have the same uh, appearance when viewed from any direction. So, there are their symbols therefore are drawn the same in sections and elevations as seen in figure. So, these are the examples of uh, material symbols. So, meron tayong uh, liquid, reinforced concrete, Steel and uh, uh, rough iron, wire mesh, marble, rock, stone. So, iba iba no? Roof, roof, roofing tiles, so stoke or plaster, zinc. So, depende sa construction. But uh, in a uh, residential setting na construction, so, konti lang dito makikita lahat no? Depende lang sa preference nung um, nag design. So, also glass. Uh, cross section, metal, sand, tile, ceramic, gravel, plywood, slate, tin, insulation, or thermal acoustics, porcelain, special alloys, and um, titanium. So, um, there are uh, pa uh, parts of the drawing that a uh, large area is made up of one material. So, for example, yung sa elevation mo or yung front ng sa front ng house, yung front elevation is uh, meron siyang part na like uh, a large part of that area is made of brick wall. So it is common to only draw the symbol on a part of the area. So mamaya pa kita ng example, no. But some doctors simplify this even further by using a note to indicate what material is used omitting the symbol all together. So, uh, take this for example. So, meron tayong um, roof dito. So, this is a roof. So, ito yung uh, roof line niya. This is the roof line. 
So, yung roof daw is made of asphalt shingles. So, if you look for asf uh, asphalt shingles, so para siyang ganito yung symbol ng asphalt shingles. So, para siyang uh, uh, box box na ganyan. Yung symbols ng asphalt shingles. So, but dito, hindi, hindi na siya pinakita kasi uh, medyo parang uh, hindi na siya clean tingnan. No? So, naglagay nila siya ng note. But also, um, yung na-mention kanina, you can uh, select a part like ganyan. Then, ipapakita mo yung asphalt, asphalt na shingles na drawing. So, not the entire part dito. So, yung like part lang, that is to uh, emphasize na asphalt yung gamit na material dyan. And also this brick here. So, yung wall na daw na to is uh, brick. So, this entire wall here is naka-brick siya. So, but um, you can also use na parang part lang. Then, pagkita mo yung symbol ng material. So, brick is ganito yung mga brick, no? So, ganyan. Then, may naka-note na brick. So, uh, depende kung ano yung gusto nyo na um, type ng pag-emphasize uh, ng mga uh, type of material symbols na uh, ginamit sa uh, building construction. Okay, next is the electrical symbols. So, symbols are used on electrical drawings to simplify the drafting work for both drafters and the workers interpreting the drawing. So, for example, sa electrical, yung mag-interpret na yung mga um, uh, electrical um, workers. So, sila mag-interpret ng drawing mo. So, ano yung lighting na ilalagay nila? Ano yung mga wirings, yung mga circuits. So, it should be noted that the electrical, but it should be noted that the electrical um, symbols are not standardized. standardized. So, throughout the industry. So, which is one reason why electrical drawings typically have symbol or, or uh, legend listed. So, sa electrical plan, uh, merong floor plan na nagpapakita ng mga electrical plan ng house mo. So, yung lighting, yung circuits, yung wires, yung mga um, electrical fixtures. So, nakikita dun sa electrical plan. And um, to finalize the electrical plan, there are a separate, uh, um, sa gilid or somewhere sa same sheet is may nakalagay na lists of electrical symbols. Kasi, um, depende sa fancy ng nag-design, as long as naglagay siya ng electrical symbol, so, maintindihan ng mag, uh, magbabasa ng drawing or yung worker or yung drafter na, uh, na may hawak ng drawing. So, these are the examples of an electrical symbols. So, um, this one here is a convenience outlet set uh, 12 inches uh, AFUNO. So, convenience outlet is yung, yung sa wall, yung ganyan. So, nag, yung saksakan. So, ito yung convenience outlet. So, um, convenience outlet, so marami, iba-iba, no? A light fixture, so this is example A, light bulb. Uh, vent to exit, so this is an exhaust fan, for example. Um, electrical panel, so yung compressor, ceiling fan. So, iba-iba. So, uh, these are also the list of general symbols in current use. But, um, sa Philippine setting, um, siguro we can say na, um, all drawings have a common list, uh, a list, um, common symbols na ginagamit sa electrical. But that, uh, that doesn't mean na standard yung mga symbols na ginagamit na nito. That's why we still have to um, provide uh, list. So, ganitong list sa uh, electrical plan to understand yung mga symbols na ginagamit. So, for example, here is a light fixture. So, uh, recessed light fixture, so chimes, um, doorbell, electrical meter, gas meter, phone, television, smoke detector. So, these are examples ng mga uh, symbols ng mga um, electrical fixtures. So, non fuse disconnect switch, so alarm. Okay, so uh, doorbell transformer, weatherproof. So, these are the examples ng list. So, marami pa yung mga electrical fixture na gamit and may mga um, corresponding sila ng mga um, electrical symbols. Okay, so next is the plum plumbing 
symbols. So, piping used in commercial and residential applications is generally termed as plumbing. So, yung mga pipes, no? so nakita nyo naman. So, yung mga uh, dumadaan dyan sa ground zero or yung dyan sa ground zero, ang nakita yung mga construction ng mga pipe na orange or blue. So, those are termed as a plumbing. So, um, and it's designed to carry fresh water, liquid and solid waste and gas. So, uh, blue pipes for yung uh, uh, water supply. So, depende, no? So, mga solid waste is yung orange pipe naman for mga waste na galing sa bahay. So, there are also gases na um, ginagamit but uh, usually this is in the hospital. So, wala sa mga residential na ano, no? So, residential usually blue or orange pipe lang. So, that is for uh, water and uh, solid wastes. So, um, also, these pipes can be made of plastic, copper, galvanized steel, and cast iron. So, uh, but the most common ngayon is yung mga uh, PVC. So, yung mga plastic, no? Yung mga polyvinyl. So, the, the uh, PVC are types of plastic. So, in, uh, in preparing uh, a plumbing drawing, all pipe fittings, uh, all pipe fittings are yung mga elbow, yung T, yung mga connections ng mga pipes when it, when it, when it is needed to change direction. So, uh, fixtures, uh, valves, and other components are represented by symbols. So, such uh, as those shown in this uh, figure. So, for example, yung pipe mo, so merong 90 degrees elbow. So, ganito yung 90 degrees elbow. So, but in the drawing or a uh, plumbing plan, ganito yung nakikita sa drawing. So, for straight T, ganito nakikita. Uh, reducing T, ganito nakikita. So, reducing T, uh, naka-include yung size ng pipe and yung kasi sa straight T, equal lang yung mga um, sizes na on these three uh, parts. But sa reducing T, one part is uh, maliit compared dun sa dalawang part. So, this is a 4 inches and 2 inches na uh, 4, 4 inches to 2 inches na reducing T. Sanitary T, so ito is yung, for example, uh, meron kang uh, isesegue na uh, pipe. So, gagamit ka ng sanitary T. Uh, P-trap. So, siguro familiar ka sa P-trap. So, nakita natin sa mga uh, sink or lababo natin sa bahay. P-trap. So, this is P-trap. So, gate valve. So, gate valve is ito. So, ito yung iniikot natin para ma-on off yung um, uh, tubo. So, ito yung uh, representation niya or symbol niya. Then, shower head. So, lavatory sinks, uh, bathtubs, and shower stall. So, marami pa yung mga. Ano pa ba yung mga ginagamit ng mga pipe? feature. So, compared to electrical na ano, so, mas, mas maraming electrical, no? But, uh, sa pipe uh, plumbing is a medyo konti lang. So, these are examples of different type of plumbing connections. So, merong elbow, T, cross, cross T, so, beba. Okay, so, so far, that is the symbols na uh, present sa uh, drawing plans natin, so especially sa residential plan. So, not all symbols is magagamit dun sa residential plan, particularly. So, um, as an activity, so, I want you to make your own design of a North Point symbol. So, but don't make it too complicated. Say, a design that can be easily drawn manually or using AutoCAD. So, uh, katulong may example kanina, no? Okay, so, um, reference So, that's it for our module 3. Okay, so that ends our module number 3. And thank you for listening and have a good day.